everybody, Sibling Power here, and today I am back with another Minecraft video, and I'm sorry if there's a little pause, my recording software is being weird. Okay, um, <coughs> well, today I am back with another Minecraft video, and today we are doing another Minecraft Pro Tips. Um, and credit to the person who, um, I discovered this thing we're looking at. Um, yeah. Um, the person who I discovered it from is a YouTuber called Turtle Derp. I will leave a, uh, that's a funny name, I know. I will leave a, um, I will leave a link to his channel in the description below, and that's where I discovered it. He discovered it from somewhere, but I don't know where he discovered it from, because he didn't tell us. So, um, yeah, he just said he found it somewhere and couldn't remember where, so, um, uh, look at his video. It's somewhere in his channel. I don't know. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel though. So, um, <coughs> anyway, today, you're probably wondering what this is. Um, this is actually a TNT cannon. I know, it uses no water. Uh, it uses no water at all, so it's a very special TNT cannon. And it's very cheap. It's very easy to build, so, uh, it's very... Uh, friendly to survival mode. So if you're on faction servers, this this thing is gonna work nicely. Uh, it fires not too far. That's the only issue with it. It can only fire out to this hole because this is where it was firing to. Um, so yeah, you can build this thing on faction servers and shoot TNT at people's bases from uh, somewhat of a distance. Uh, okay, so this is all the components used, um, not all of this TNT, that's that's something that I put in there. But uh, these top components are what's used to build it. You'll need one button, one dispenser, three slime blocks, which are actually crafted with slime balls, um, one sticky piston, one of the block you're using, I chose stone brick, but you can use any other uh, block that allows redstone to transmit through it, uh, and two redstone repeaters. And essentially, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load this cannon up with however much TNT. It can hold up to, you know, nine stacks because that's what a dispenser can hold. Um, so, and then you can go ahead and if you just click the button, if you've set the, dis the uh, repeaters like so, you click this one once and this one twice, it will fire out like that. And the hole will, and it's going to explode. It's going to land in the hole. Um, and yeah, you're just gonna be able to spam it, spam it, spam it, and now you get explosions in the hole. Um, so let's go ahead and build this on camera just to show off how it's actually built. So these are the components you will need. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is place two repeaters like so, and then click them like I showed you. Then you're going to want to dig two holes in the ground and place a sticky piston and two slime blocks over that. And you're going to want to place the dispenser facing upward, a stone brick, sticky piston, and uh, and finally the button. And that's it. <laughs> that's all it takes. Uh, it's not an especially uh, difficult build. Um, and then we can just go ahead and take some TNT. It is nighttime, so I will go ahead and set that back to daytime so that these mobs go away thank you okay so um... now you're just gonna wanna load it up and it's ready it's ready to start firing uh... and it's gonna make explosions um... so yeah that's pretty much the whole design it's not a really especially difficult thing you can pause it uh... if you need like gesture things like there you go there you go you can pause it and look at it now there's a little F uh, oh, F1, there you go, look at it, it's so beautiful, um, it is, <laughs> okay, um, so, um, you're probably wondering, well, this is a short, uh, video, um, it's not gonna be this short, I'm gonna show you some interesting things I've discovered with this device, um, so let's just go ahead, grab the proper components here, and I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna, um, build this again and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it over here I'm gonna build it um, like you would expect um, let's go ahead do, 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 do. ah okay so there we are so I built it so 
what I was wondering was, can this device be um, be turned automatic? And I actually, what I did was on my on the world that I was testing this device out on, I discovered yes, you can actually make this fully automatic. Um, and b how do you do that? Well, you go ahead and you build a redstone clock. Uh, here's the clock that I discovered that works best with this uh, design. It actually uses this, 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 and this. Okay, lever two. Okay, so this is the clock that I discovered that works best with the design. And uh, you just do this, you put the torch there, you put the repeater there, and you put the redstone there, and you set it like three ticks. So there we are. It's a slow ticking clock. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the repeater facing into that, and then just uh, turn that uh, on like that. And now it's actually fully automatic. Um, you can actually increase the speed here using this. Okay, shoot! Don't increase the speed. Don't increase the speed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you if you increase the speed, I figured out that sometimes happens, where it'll the TNT will get stuck. So uh, yeah, you don't want to increase the speed, otherwise it's gonna blow it up. Um. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, don't increase the speed unless you want it to explode. Um. So anyway, that's the ba That's the pretty much the whole thing that I was looking uh, to show you however as a bonus because I'm out of ideas um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can turn this into a ballista not necessarily a ballista but what I mean by that is can I make this thing even better than it already is and what I'm and what I'm gonna do is I think yeah okay I think this is how I did it on my on my survival world, I also did a little something that I'm kind of uh, interested that I was able to do, and that is I was able to make this um, multiple um, multiple shot by doing this, and. Okay, so there we are. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and turned this multi-shot by essentially, um, hmm, sorry, I'm concentrated. What I did was I made this multi-shot by building multiples of them, and that kind of worked out really nicely, actually. Um, what you do is you turn that back to three. And then you go ahead and you lever. And then you go ahead and you connect that up. Okay, so that's how you do it. You make this multi shot, and then you gotta go ahead and you gotta load in the TNT. So let's give it three stacks. Load, load, uh, load. Okay, so let's see if this works, because if this works, um, this is kind of going to be freaking overpowered. And it works. <laughs> you can just make it a TNT drain. Oh my god. Uh, this cannon is so fun, because it's just, it's so easy to use. And it fire and that arc is not bad, the firing range, and you can just kind of... And look at how fast it goes down, too, so you could use this in a uh, normal survival world to get down really quickly, uh, deep into the world. Uh, and it does it just stop it right there, because the TNT fuse, um, goes off. Um, but yeah, so, uh, it, it goes down pretty far, because of its not-too-far arc. And look, it's very accurate as well, like, it doesn't actually stray too much from its designated path. It's highly accurate. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I think that was the entirety of the video. Uh, I hope you guys um, liked it, and uh, if you did like it, uh, so why don't you subscribe to see more uh, content by me. Um, <laughs> and I guess I will see everyone in the next video. Um, a goodbye, everyone.